Hello, perfect angles. I'm Janice, and my daughter has motor stereotypy. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. When she was a newborn, she would make this face. It looked like she was just excited. She'd go. And I thought, oh, boy, she's enthusiastic. And I remember even posting a picture about, oh, this is Olivia getting, you know, um, because I thought that's just her getting really excited. And then when she was about 20 months old, I started realizing that as the movements got more involved and she would start to clench and her body would start to just stiffen and shake and I realized oh wait a second there's something's different here I, I don't think she's in control of this movement it's not that she's just excited at first I thought maybe she has ticks maybe the, she has Tourette's or something and so I often explain it to other kids when they're like why does she do that why can't she stop and so I say it's kind of like having a sneeze if you have to sneeze you've got to sneeze and if you try to hold it in you might succeed for a little while, but you'll start sneezing again. So I think every parent always has some sort of concern. Did they make something worse? Did they have something to do with making this situation? But I release myself of that. I, I know that this is just how her brain functions. There wasn't anything that I did to make this happen, and there isn't anything I can do to make it go away. But Livy's manifestations have shown me that there's stuff happening in my kids' brains that are making them be unable to sit still. And this is not by choice. This is not because they watch too much television and it's not because I fed them too much sugar. This is just the way their brains work. Liv is a pretty confident little thing and so she's dealt with it quite well. But obviously everybody's gonna be impacted if they have something that's different and people look at them or they stare or they even worse tease her. I was being bullied and people were just making fun of me and I got sick of it. So I went home with my mom and we both wrote down some cute cards and so we, I decided that we should do, I should do um, a presentation for the class. And a lot of the time it's not mean-spirited. It's just kids are confused. What is she doing? Why is she doing that? And really it's just a matter of educating them and helping them to understand. And they just learned and made me feel a lot better during the year. My brother is worried that if I show them doing my stuff on like, TV or something that they'll make fun of me and I don't really care because I'm not embarrassed of, of them, it's just who I am and if other kids tease me that I have stereotypies I'll just say well there's lots of kids in the world, it's not just the me and we aren't weird, our brains just get bored really easily. I love that Livia's stereotypies have taught me that things are going on in the brain that we don't understand and that that's okay and we don't have to have all of the answers and just because we don't believe something or we doesn't, don't know something doesn't mean that it's not happening. I think that that's the craziest thing about science sometimes and doctors, they're always so sure about something and then in 10 years they learn, oh we were wrong, sorry, we, we, we told you all these things, we were quite egotistical about it but actually we were wrong. What I always try to teach my kids is that if somebody doesn't have power over you, they can't bully you. They can't make you feel bad if you don't have shame. Like, those people want me to feel ashamed, but I don't care. It's just me, and they can't change me. 